of your home. And the easiest way to do that is a little trick that my buddy John Holt taught me years ago. <laughs> Whenever Don Aslett Cleaning Corporation takes on a new account, maybe it's a bank, it's a retailer, it's a hospital, the first thing they do is they mat every single entrance to the building so that people can track less dirt into the building itself. These are their biggest mats they've ever done. They're five foot by three foot. They're Greek key, they're not available anywhere else. And these are the dirt trapper mats. They're actually a series of thousands of little like spatulas. Yeah, there's, there's over 100,000 scraping blades on each one of these mats. You can't miss this when you come into your house. Now, we don't make him this good looking for what, the- What for, are you doing? I just put, <laughs> okay, well, I just poured five pounds of dirt into this mat and guess Where what? Where did it go? You don't see it, it's below the bristles. It goes to the bottom of the mat, so the next person that wipes their feet on this is standing on a clean mat. And it doesn't go through, because this has a non-slip backing. Nice. So they, they actually stay put. So, we put the Greek pattern on this, which, by the way, is a sign of infinity. Did you know that? I did not know that. Okay. <laughs> Well, an older host told me that many years ago. I didn't well, even know. That doesn't mean it's right. He was a master in Greek philosophy. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we made this look better for the home, and we're giving you five choices of colors, which you, we don't do that at a commercial building. And by building. the way, I've been busting his chops <laughs> because nobody around here anymore just calls colors by colors. Okay. They got to come up with something fancy. <laughs> this is not just green. It's Urban green. Urban green, right? correct. Yeah. And our operators have that information. <laughs> but you do see that Greek key. That they're they're beautiful mats. I have one of the original mats, and I asked you this before. How many years ago was it you brought the first one to us? It must be at least 20 years ago. Okay, I still have the original mat, and it resides outside of our kitchen door, because that's, that's our front door. Nobody comes to the front door of the farmhouse. And that thing still looks pretty darn good after 20 years. And I'm amazed at how much dirt it pulls. <laughs> what color is this listed at? This is Wintergate. Wintergate? Yes. That's not a color. Uh, that, it's, That's a soap opera, right. Wintergate. So light gray, dark yep. gray, but QVC's words are <laughs> Wintergate yes. and Flint gray. Flint gray. Yes, dark gray. That's pretty. This, so, okay. very, very popular. That's Sandbar. Sandbar. Yep. Sandbar sold out. Uh, the last time that you had brought them in, and we're finally able to offer that back in stock again. And then the lighter color is, is referred wheat to? Wheatfield. Wheatfield. Yeah. Well, there you have it. So, there's now, your color. Now, watch this, though. So, I'm going to finish this. This is going to be a total of 10 pounds of dirt in this doormat. All right. Second jug I poured in here. So, but with 10 pounds of dirt on it, it doesn't prevent you or me from being able to use the mat and wipe our feet on right. the- Right, I mean, I could put 15 pounds in here and you still wouldn't see it. That's over a month's worth of dirt at home. Okay. Now here's how you clean it. You pick it up, right. and I'm gonna shake it out right here. And just look <laughs> at all the dirt fall <laughs> out of amazing. that mat. I mean, are you kidding me? Imagine this coming in your house. Oh. All that grit now that's on my sand, shoe. That, that would destroy oh, ruin hardwood, your hardwood floors or tile. your carpet up. So, now, Remember the last time I did this, Dan? Uh huh. Uh, I couldn't keep my balance, so. <laughs> I'll help you, buddy. I, I have I'm there for you. <laughs> I have another tray of dirt here. Now, say it's raining outside. I'm spraying water all over this. I'm going to step right in this mud here with my shoe. Okay. And this I just, where teamwork comes in, I right here. I just want to turn my foot sideways so you can see the dirt on my oh, shoe. I'll leave. There you go. Now, Quite watch what I do. I'm okay. going to wipe my foot on the doormat. Okay. Okay, just a couple of wipes and take a look at my shoe now. Ready? Here we go. Use the shoulder, buddy. Uh, oh, I kept my balance Clean. This time. Clean. Now, all, all can the I tell you why I like this? Mat. By okay. the way, I'm going to grab just a little happy welcome mat. Okay, oh, please. Right here. Here's your standard, <laughs> here's a standard welcome mat. <laughs> Look how dinky that darn thing is. And let's get some dirt on it. You've got to search it out. When you put <laughs> dirt on this, it sits right on the top, which means you're going to track that into the house. With this, it means that the dirt disappears. disappears. Uh, it, it, you don't have cute little slogans on it. Doesn't say welcome, but it does the job. And yeah. your, your mat is your first cleaning tool. It is, it, you know, and this is how it works. It scrapes the dirt off your shoes. It falls to the bottom of the mat. So the next person that stands on those bristles yep. stands on a clean mat. They're almost an inch long. And there's 100,000 of them on here. I counted this morning, okay. <laughs> I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. I lost track at 98,000. I had to start over. So there's five pounds of dirt back in the mat. I'm going to take another five pounds of dirt. Oh, I can do any color you want. I don't have to do the winter gate. Right. 
I can do the sandbar. I can do the wheat. Sand, field. Sandbar has been really, really popular. Yeah, look at this. Now they again, all work the same way. Matt, every entrance to your home, they're forty-five dollars and forty-eight cents. And again, but they la they last longer, and they are true cleaning machines. And they're big enough. They're five feet wide, three feet deep. Yeah. That they go in front of a, a set of double doors or a French door. Right. Here's how I have it going into my mudroom door. I have yep. it lengthwise, so my two dogs, my cat. Me, my kid, all have to walk across it several steps. Now, my main door, which is a three foot wide door, but it's got glass windows on each side. Okay. I put it sideways so it really dresses up the entire entrance. Yeah. And look how great this mat looks. I mean, uh, it's it really, nice. you, you try to buy a cocoa mat this size at one of those specialty catalogs, hundreds of dollars. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> okay first of all, but a cocoa mat isn't necessarily going to block dirt from coming into your home as well. Well, that's just it. I mean, they so. almost have too many bristles on them, like this one, okay? They, they do work, okay? But here, again, the dirt sits right on top. Okay. So the All next right. person that stands on this is going to bring dirt into your house. Now, our mat, I'll, I'll pour dirt right next to it. Where does it go? There's not Drops a hole the in bottom. the floor. It goes to the bottom of the mat. So you, everybody's standing on a clean mat instead of a dirty mat. That's how it works, okay? Customer top rated. Yep. Uh, it's, it's a doormat. I, it's, guys. <laughs> People have taken the time to write a review on a doormat to say how impressed they were <laughs> on how it eliminated a lot of the housework inside your home. The average person drags 40 pounds of dirt into the house every single year, and they do it on the bottom of their feet. That's a wheelbarrow full of dirt and or the got, equivalent. They got four feet. Yep. Okay. Yep. So just imagine, there's your front door sideways. Even though that doesn't have windows, but there's when that's lengthwise. If you want to do it that way, happy dog. Put that. Put it lengthwise. If you have a high traffic door, like your mudroom door or a, a basement door. John, which which okay, which one is Winter's Gate? Right here, the one right in the middle. Huh. This is what there's gate 300 right left wow. in the Winter's Gate, <laughs> which by the way. Flint Some gray, people call gray. <laughs> okay. So here goes 10 more pounds of dirt right onto the floor. Now look at that. That's 20 pounds of dirt right there. Twice that comes into your house every single year. We just stopped it instantly. It's the, it's the now, number it, one cleaning secret Don Asset has. It, it won't completely eliminate vacuuming right. and cleaning. But man, if that dirt can be outside, that's, you had a very good point. That's what destroys carpet. That's what chews up yeah. your Carpeting. tile floors and, and your wood floors. That's really impressive. And it's a pretty mat. It, it is. You know, you put this in front of your main door, people are going to say, wow, where'd you get this? And you know what? Because you can't hear it at home, but you can actually hear it. And people Scrubbing. are like, oh, and they wipe their feet yep. even more yeah, before I agree. they come into your house. I agree. Okay. Oh, so, put that anywhere. Yeah, right. uh, so <clears throat> at a price tag of $45.48, this is your first investment in getting your home clean. Some of the reviews, read a couple of them for you. Uh, it does trap dirt at the door and it will last a long time. Easy to clean as well. The generous size looks nice and lays flat right out of the packaging. Now, by the way, nice thing about this, it's also heavy enough weight where if you have a little bit of wind, this thing doesn't wind up on oh, your neighbor's yeah, this front thing porch. Several pounds. Yeah, it's, it's built well. And it has a rubberized non-stick back to it. Yeah, here's the backing right here. Non-slip backing. So, I mean, it really stays put, you know? I don't care how windy outside it is. I mean, it, it'll actually stay put. Yep. We had a woman who wrote a review six years after she bought it. It was just up on your screen. <laughs> but talking about that she had had it for six years and it still looked great. Uh, this is my favorite Don Asla cleaning product. And I am, I'm a neat freak. I freely admit that. But I'm not going to spend extra time cleaning. It's, I'm a neat freak, but it's not a <laughs> hobby. If you've got something that keeps the dirt on the outside of your home, you don't have to clean as much inside. Yeah, you know, I've got three doors on my main level. My main entrance door, I got one sideways. Okay. My, my mudroom door, I have one lengthwise. Don't my forget slider, that door that a lot of folks have from the, gar the garage door into the kitchen. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Stop so. the dirt at the door, you guys. This is gonna cut your cleaning in half. I I'm telling you, mat every single entrance to your home, you stop the dirt at the door. The colors are? Urban Green. Yep. <laughs> this one again we're referring to as Wintergate. Wintergate. That that sounds like a political scandal. Okay. Cotton Wintergate. Uh, that one has been the most popular. This is graphite gray right here. Flint gray. Flint gray. Okay. Oh. 
This one is called Sandbar. Sandbar, very, very popular. And then wheat. Wheat field. Wheat, wheat right. field. <laughs> All right, I, I have a headache okay. now. I, I have to go lay down. Uh, right. Thank you, my friend. All right, now I got to clean this dirt up. <laughs> like that. Well, that's part of being a professional cleaning company. Over 600 of you have picked this up. Uh, we're going to take a real quick break. We're coming back.